Today I'd like to do a video that focuses on medical staples. And this was inspired by a video that I saw by the Mountain RN <laughs> called, uh, what was it called? Save the Sutures for Rambo, I think. Yeah. And it's just the, the concept of uh, going with a stapler instead of having sutures because of the training involved with the sutures and you know most people probably aren't as prepared for it. So what we're gonna do for this video is we're gonna use this medical staple and we're gonna try it out on a sample wound. I think the Mountain RN has volunteered over here with one that's just made out of ink over there. And and then we're going to remove those medical staples using this uh, little staple remover. And this is all very inexpensive, like around $10 you could get online for this. So let's get started with this video featuring medical staples. All right, so I'm going to let the Mountain RN describe this a little bit more because you know a lot about this. I'm, okay. I'm just testing it out. So. And just to be, I want to show him how to use it. It's just to prove how easy that is. All he did was watch a YouTube video. It's not a, it's not a range and everything. We, I mentioned him before. I didn't teach him anything. That's why I want him to try it. I mean, that's how I trust just by someone watching a YouTube video how the difference between this and suturing. Suturing, I don't know how I would trust you. Yeah, stuff. no, yeah, don't let me suture yeah. you because yeah. I've, I've never done it before. So basically what this is, uh, they use this already now in, in medical place and stuff. Um, it's, it's a staple, uh, just like the staple that you staple with your, uh, your papers and stuff, uh, but it, it, it's sterile, so that's why it's in a package like this, and um, you aim and shoot. That's as simple as it is. I think it's stainless steel, yeah, it's stainless steel, so uh, versus if, if I would have to do it in a, maybe in a pinch, you would maybe be able to use the ones at the dollar store, but the problem is they would probably rust, and so then you would have infection. This wouldn't rust. So then you can leave and stuff. Uh, studies have shown that suture versus this in a lot of wounds versus like obstetric wounds which is the kind of wounds that we wouldn't have to do anyway. They're pretty much the same thing. The only things with this is that it leaves more of a mark. Uh, so the wound doesn't So you don't want this on really. your face or yeah. on, from what I read you don't want it on like your knuckles where you're going to be bending a yeah. lot or if you want to look pretty. Yeah, if, for, if for example, if you have on your knee yeah. and you pu you you pull pressure, yeah. th this is where this thing won't hold maybe as well. Uh, uh, no, you, you mentioned that th this one's kind of large compared to the yes. ones that you've seen. So Yeah, the, the ones that I carry are that that big. That's a big Between my two yeah. fingers. Yeah. I need to buy some. Uh, well, so those are great for practice because you there's like 35 in practice and stuff and the ones that are that small they're a little bit more expensive than this but not much i think it, they're like maybe 12 or 13 bucks but they they're they're small now, if you were gonna if you were gonna have a, a sutures in your kit how often should you really be practicing your sutures to be able to be good at it like <laughs> well it depends on uh, on on yeah like this, I don't have to practice on this. Though. No, see, you watch a video, yeah. and I'm pretty I'll sure put, I put give him the, in the description or annotations and links to all of the Mount yeah. RN's videos that are. And I with. would give him that in a year again, a year ago, uh, have to do it, and I think you would still be able to use it okay. because you you have versus suture. Yeah, at least at least twice a month, at least, okay. and that and that would mean that like, you would probably because this was a, a suture. That it was done and you can see how yeah. botchy it is and because it was closed the wrong way and everything the only advantage of suture versus this is that um yeah the uh, leaves less trace but we're talking right. about doctors that do it all the time and everything this is why and this is what they call primary closure versus secondary closure all wounds can be closed with the dressings that we have this has advantage but uh, and sometimes there's a lot of disadvantage where we don't hear but there's wounds that you cannot close with this because it would if you close it it would leave a hole like that okay. so if the if the wound is too deep you cannot close it very well okay. and that we're talking like suture or this it's just like it would close and then it would leave this big hole a bunch of infection yeah. and stuff. so those were what you call secondary uh, closure or if it's delayed and everything infection can already be in and then you would have the and this is the advantage too, you can play and, and match with those as you can leave maybe a little hole inside and drain. Um, you can be used on the scalp a lot like uh, in the emergency because here it's not so um, uh, visible. A lot of the doctors, they use it on the scalp It's because it's so quick and you don't need to. Uh, um, so. All right, well, let's, uh, let's open it up and try it out on the... <laughs> you, you came, came into the States and I'm going to just start stapling them <laughs> up just for the fun of it. <laughs> All right, so uh, just open it up here. Yep. So just, are you sure? Yeah. Now just go like that. Yeah. And 
there's no freezing. This is another advantage of this versus uh, suturing. I wouldn't let him suture me without freezing because there's no freezing right now. Okay, so I'm gonna press yep. down and then press down and, and just click. Handle. Yep. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Oh, there you go. That didn't hurt. That didn't, it pinched, it pinched, it pinch, but that's it. Can we do one more? Well, yeah. All right, one more yeah, coming do, up. Do, do, yeah. Welcome to Seattle. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. So you see? Oh, I see. I messed up a little bit. Then. Yeah. I need so I need to line it up like I'm uh, when I'm hanging up the Christmas lights or something. Yep. Yeah, it's exactly like a staple gun. It's okay. just that it's sterile. It has stainless steel versus whatever there is in the other ones, which are like. Um, they can rust. This cannot rust. It's okay. made for the skin. But you see, I am not screaming right now. Yeah. It is. Now, it feels pitchy. It yeah, just throw me maybe. Back up the camera again. Maybe throw like one or two just to say you didn't worry on my skin. But you see, that's that's how easy it is. See this mark here? This is what you put your wound with. Jeez, man. There you go. See? That <laughs> easy. Right. So here. Just to clear out, so yeah. so right like that. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that yeah, that it pinched. That feel good, but it's, it it pinched because here's what they look like when they're closed, and this is what they do a little bit like a suture. They they bring yeah, we'll they, lo this they lose yeah. lop, so they go and grab your skin, and they and actually in yeah. some place they use ant. To do this, like to oh. improvise, you, you put an ant and you, yeah. and it's the same thing. No, but, I can feel it when I twist a little bit, but yeah. not really. And so this is why I was saying yeah. the pressure. So you see, yeah. if it would be pulling, and this is why an obstetric, because if you put it on the belly, the belly will sometimes reopen. But yeah, yeah, that's that's not bad at all. I mean, and cool no, no freezing. No freezing. This is another advantage of having this in your survival kit I mean, versus it's so quick. It's like versus a stuff. If, if I was a suture or something like that, I, I imagine that'd be, that'd be hurting. Well, you see, like one, so two, kind of three, three four, five, six, and what? How many times? How, yeah. how long it took me? Like I was tick, quick, tick, yeah, tick, tick, yeah. Perfect. All right. Well, let's uh, let's do a close up and uh, take these things out yeah. using uh, using this the tool. Staple, the tool. Okay. So and then you put put it under, and then you is, press. This is the removal tool. Uh, that's used and uh, you tried doing this with a multi-tool and it's not as easy no because because what it is is that this what it will do so actually you can see it see on nicely now that we have empty ones it it goes under the skin and put it in if you use a multi-tool and what the tools does yeah. is it will open them yeah and then you'll be able to remove them and you'll see it's very easy once they remove it but what happens when a multi-tool is that you're pulling yeah and or you're breaking up in middle what happened with me was i break it up in the middle then i pull yeah. so it, it it hurt all right well, let's uh, but, open this uh up with and, the tool uh, it's it won't, you won't feel it i've anymore. never done yeah. this before and you see yeah that's, that's you easy. see that's what i'm saying in a year and you yeah. just watch a youtube video you went in this so just like and Oop. Yeah, <laughs> no longer as sterile. But yeah, so like that. All right, so here's a little cl uh, close-up of the tool, just so you can see. All right, so let's, uh, so just go like that yeah. and grab and, yeah. and push. There you go. Oh, yeah, man. That's okay, that a little easy. blood. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. Well, because obviously, right, we we purse the skin, so obviously you would uh, clean the skin and stuff when you you put that stuff in. That easy. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, that one there we go. Uh, yeah. I got so <laughs> you, got some wounds now. So you see it like I was saying. So you went from a yeah. So you went from this shape. You see one in the camera? Okay. To this shape. That's why you need the tool. Because basically what it does is it, it goes in the middle and open it up. Yeah. All right, guys, so make sure that you pick up uh, one of these medical staples for your uh, first aid kits for emergencies recommended by the Mountain RN. And uh, I'll put links in the description box below for where you can get this one and then the smaller version as smaller well. Version, yeah. I mean, it's so much easier than using sutures. Uh, it doesn't hurt. There's not a, a, we didn't need lidocaine or anything like that. And it's kind of uh, dummy proof because I, I use a stapler every day in the <laughs> office. So this is uh, no big deal. So. 
Uh, we've sterilized the, the removal tool, so I'm going to now get these things out of my arm. Uh, but leave your comments below in the comment section uh, regarding the medical staple, and I'll put links to all of uh, the Mountain RN's videos uh, regarding this topic. So leave the sutures to Rambo, and uh, <laughs> us preppers should just use the stapler. All right, guys, leave the comments below in the comment section. It's easy. <laughs> <laughs>